Hey folks, this is Red Falcon, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install and use KeePass. So KeePass is a uh, password vault that's saved directly on your uh, computer. It um, Currently, to my knowledge, there isn't a mobile version for it, but this is strictly for uh, desktop and laptop use. Um, but this is the uh, official site for KeePass. I don't recommend downloading from this site because um, it is, um, it's not secure. However, if you go over to SourceForge, uh, sourceforge.net slash project slash KeePass, right up here. Let me give you the information about it. All right, there's all the information for the certificate. Um, this is a secure site, and uh, uh, I feel a lot more comfortable uh, recommending this one. So what you want to do is you'll just want to scroll down um, under summary, um, click download. Now I will be covering just the Windows installation for it. I may in a future video show you how to install it for different operating systems, but I figure uh, Windows would be a safe bet. Um, now I am using Windows 7, Windows 10 should be very similar. So the f uh, files downloaded. And we're going to go ahead and just execute it. Um, as of this recording, the version is 2.34. All right, we'll just close that part right there. Run. All right, I'm going to select English. All right, and this is the end user license agreement. You are welcome to read it at a later time. If I did, I would be here all day. Um, you and Again, you can install it wherever you want. I'm just going to stick with the default. Um, and we're just going to go with a full installation that has everything. All right. Uh, again, if you want to create a desktop shortcut or a quick launch shortcut, there are options here. Um, but we do want to associate the KBX extension. Unless you have a reason not to, um, which I mean, at this point, you, I can't think of a good reason at the moment. All right, here's the summary, and you click install. All right, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to launch KeePass. And we're going to close this window. All right, so the first thing we're asked is, do we want to enable automatic update check? And we're going to select yes, because it's always a good idea to um, check for updates. So the first thing we're going to do is, you'll see we just have a blank window, and you're probably wondering, what do I do? Well, don't worry. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a new database. We're going to go up to File and select New. Okay. So this is going to be your KeePass database. So all of your usernames, passwords, websites, secure notes are going to be on this file. So you want to make sure you save this file to a, uh, a good place. So for now, we're just going to um, save it. Um, just to the documents for now. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create a master password. If you watched my video on LastPass, you're going to know that this is very similar to the password that you create for um, LastPass. So we're going to, um, I already created one earlier and we're just going to go with that one. Again, um, you might want to use a service like Diceware to create this password. So we're just going to put this in right now. Okay. And you want to go ahead. I recommend that you make the length at least 26 characters. Um, KeePass is going to recommend that it's a bit longer, but um, again, that's depending on what kind of password you have in it. If there are passwords that you don't particularly care about, yeah, you might want to go with a lower one, yeah, but if it's something important, you definitely want to put something um, stronger. All right. And now here's an advanced option. Um, what you can do is you can actually require a key file. So what you do is you create this. You can create a, um, a key file, and what that means is in order to open the database, you'll have to know the pass the master password, and you'll have to know, and you'll have to have the actual key key file on your computer somewhere and you have to point to it uh i don't recommend this for beginners once you start using um key pass and you get accustomed to it and you have a good way of backing up your uh master password database then by all means you might want to go ahead and get use a key i use a key but 
again, it can be a real inconvenience if you lose that key, because if you lose that key, effectively, you will be locked out of your um, password database. So use that with caution. Um, there's the option to use a Windows account. I don't recommend this. Um, so just, just don't use that. All right, and we're going to click OK. OK, so here are the general um, database settings. You can put in a database name. And then um, here you can set the uh, security. Um, again, just you can use the defaults. The defaults should be pretty good for what you're doing. Um, now this recycle bin option, um, if you ever delete a um, username and password in KeyPass, it'll move it to the recycle bin before it's ultimately deleted. So that might be something um, you'll want to have. Um, and here's some more information. Um, but for right now, we'll just leave all the defaults. I may do a more advanced um, video later. So this asterisk here tells us that this database hasn't saved. So we're going to go ahead and save the, save the database first. All right. Okay, so let's uh, let's go over some basics here. So over here on the left hand side, these are all your password folders. And you can think of these as just like folders in a regular uh, Windows directory structure. You can right click, well, they're not called folders, they're called groups, but uh, effectively they're folders. Uh, you can add group, you can edit groups. Um, and then once inside a group, you'll see that there are some examples here. Um, you can right click, add entry. So here um, you can use a, a table. So we're going to do example and then um, username. So this is where you put in the password. So you do this um, show hide password field. You can actually type in a password but um, if you if you don't plan on ever typing in this password, you may want to use the password generator. So you can click this button, it'll generate. Um, there's some predefined ones already. Um, but you can actually go and open the password generator. And here you can set the criteria for your password. So uppercase, lowercase, digits. Um, you can put in special characters. If you want to exclude any characters, you can uh, put those here. I know some websites um, don't allow certain special characters. This is where you set the length of your password. And over here in advanced, um, these options make the password uh, less random. However, there are certain uh, situations where you may want to um, exclude lookalike characters. So for example, the pipe symbol, the one, the O, zero, um, those will not show up in the password. So if you're ever trying to enter in a password um, by hand for whatever reason, um, that will uh, easier. Um, but there's all the information. Um, and you can actually um, go in here. And you can actually set a profile. So you can save it. And then it'll show up here. So there's our example. And there it is. You can also put the URL for the website. And if you have any notes, you can set them here. If you want the password to expire. Now, because KeyPass doesn't interface directly with any websites, this is more of just a reminder. So if you want your password to expire, say, in six months, um, what will happen is you can go over to save this pass, save this really quick. Right here where it shows entries, you can actually select the show all expired entries. And if your password's expired, so let's go ahead and say have it expire now. Just so you can see what it looks like. OK, it'll have an X and it'll have everything crossed out. Now, this doesn't mean the password doesn't work. All this means is you told KeyPass to tell you to basically change this password. So 
whenever you go to that site, you put in the username and password, you notice it's expired, you can go ahead and go to that site, change the password, make sure you put the new entry in here, and just go on. So this is a good way of doing a, a password rotation. So for the URL, so for example, we just have KeePass open. If you double click on the URL, it will open up um, the website. So example.com is a website. And let me open up Notepad really quick. So in order to put the password in the fields, you'd have to double click on the username or the password. So if you double click on username, you'll notice here you've got this little countdown. It tells you that it's been copied to the clipboard and it'll be cleared in 12 seconds. And once this goes down, you won't be able to paste anymore. So, for example, that's the username. And here is the password. So you'll notice let that count down. Once that counts down, you'll see I can't paste the uh, the password anymore. So, um, yeah, that about covers it. Um, as I said, this uses a trust no one solution. So unlike LastPass, where you have your database stored on a web on the cloud, and you can access it from multiple devices, you can only access the database if it's on your hard drive. So what I recommend for this is um, take that database and put it in some type of um, uh, backup solution. So for example, maybe a Dropbox or um, even Google, Google Drive. This is encrypted. The only way to get into this is to know the username and uh, or to know the master password. And if we close it, let me show you. There's KeyPass. And you go up here, you can choose the latest, um, the last open one. And this is what the interface looks like. There it is. And now you can go and you can uh, um, look at all of your um, sites. Now, if you want to lock this, you can just go um, File, Lock Workspace. And you'll see it's got that little X, uh, that little uh, red um, Do Not Enter sign. And then you open it, it'll prompt you for the password again. So um, that about covers it. Um, if you have any questions about KeePass, how to use it, if you want to see some more examples, um, let me know in the comments below. Um, if uh, that's all, um, thank you for watching and uh, be safe out there.